Oh yes. Oh wow. The smell is just incredible. It's like a scene from a, a science fiction movie. That it's just like it's like a different planet to me. Victor, there's, uh, there's a man working <laughs> over there. This. This is this isn't a, a factory. This is this isn't to me somewhere that that makes massive amounts of wine. It's almost like a work of art. Yes, I mean for us, uh, wine is not just uh, like producing milk or beer. It's something more authentic, uh, very rooted to the land, as my family is, and that's why we decided to work in a in a very nice way, nice facilities and transmitting this passion and this art in, in winemaking. I can't imagine how there can be a more beautiful um, working environment than, than just the smell in itself. Yeah, it's uh, one part of, this, uh, of, this, uh, of the expression of wine. Wine is not just a Coca-Cola, it's, a, it's very complex. And these aromas are part of this. this. I think if somebody from three and a half thousand years ago came to see where wine had gone, they would be impressed and probably a little bit thankful of what you've done here, I think. So, so do the do the inspectors say everything's okay? Yes. I think they can just look at this and see that it's okay. No, they are very pleased of the way we are working and doing. Rob was just explaining that this isn't cosmetic. This is for a very important reason. It, it's just astounding that um, you know French oak here from a very famous barrel maker being used yes. where some people use stainless steel. Yes, uh, in, most, uh, in most of the cases in wine industry uh, uh, we use stainless steel but for really for special wines the, the best material is, is French oak not because it's French, <laughs> I mean it's because of the, the way the wine is preserved the wine is re releases the, most of the expression, open aromas, good evolution you know, in time, mm. uh, good tannins, good, I mean, good uh, structure. So many qualities. The, yes, and with the more elegance at the end of the wine, yeah. harmony, it's a completely different. And the yes. fact it looks good is just a side effect, a very, very nice side effect. Is the sun out? I think so. Maybe it's snowing. <laughs> How much wine is in this room? Uh, that's a very good question. I think there must be around four and a half, five thousand barrels in here. Each one was uh, about three hundred bottles. Um, actually, it might be a bit more than five thousand now. So it's just growing all the time. It's probably the, the most beautiful room, not just because of its contents. I've ever been in. We've been talking about how it would make a great set for a, a James Bond film, or it's just so well made. And there are no chemicals in here that are likely to affect the barrels. There's no other wood other than the wood used in the barrels. It's, it's mind blowing. That is an awful lot of wine. Sorry, that is a good lot of wine. This is very civilised and um, conveniently, Rob, you seem to have arranged for us to have the Twestival wine well, for lunch. This is our white wine, <laughs> so I um, thought we'd have a quick um, trial of it with our, with our lunch, show you what we have it with. And this is the uh, Viura Malvasia from 2007, mm -hmm. um, uh, all from our own vineyards. So sometimes people buy in grapes, uh, you know, to a style. This is just from our own vineyards, and it's uh, actually it was an award-winning wine, one of the top wines in uh, um, Spain.
young white wines. And yeah, it's a much more lovely, fresh aromas of, of uh, pineapples and, and uh, uh, tropical fruits, which you don't expect from a Spanish white wine. Very crisp and very, very lovely. I, I really enjoy that. I think it's, it, people do not expect this from a from a from a Spanish wine, particularly from a Rioja white wine. Is it a good wine to drink on its own? <laughs> of course it is, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is. It's very fresh and crisp. But it's not not just um, it's not a it's not um, plain and citrusy. It's got nice other fruit things going on as well. So have a think about it when you are at Twestival and you have your wine in your glass. Just take a moment to savour it. Don't just down it in one. These things take time. I feel like a proper tourist filming everything. The view. The food. Well, it's not here yet, but very, very nice. Um, I must tell you at this point, I don't actually have any euros on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Mm. Dinner is in full swing, and I'm enjoying it very much, Lee. So now we're looking at the red. Yes. Also, the red we're going to have at Twistable, the uh, Crianza. So um, there are different kinds of reds. They're not about quality levels; they're kinds of wines. The Crianza means it's had a minimum amount of time in oak. And the idea is to make it a more a, a, a multi-purpose wine with a bit. Uh, much more fruit and a bit of spiciness mm -hmm. and that's what makes it Rioja. Mm. So a nice a nice spicy uh, vanilla type nose and some cloves and some nice raspberries and that kind of thing on the nose. And I was saying earlier about balance, it's a nice spiciness, fruity flavours and it finishes and has a nice acidity to clean your palate. It can go great for on its own but also you can have it with the croquetas like we're having or the, the ham we just finished it goes with all sorts of things and the great thing to create is a multi-purpose wine which I shall be trying right now if I don't break my plate I've only had one glass of white <laughs> Mission accomplished. I think so. To shown quite a f quite a few uh, shots of us drinking wine. <laughs> I think it's job done. In, out, shake it all about as quick as we uh, as quick as we could possibly do it. We've gav gathered uh, as much content as we think we can, and I've just learnt so much, so much. Um, I see this place now in. <sighs> just such a, a, an enriched light compared to when I got here not knowing anything. It's um, really nice kind of sun going down at the end of the day and uh, we've got a lot of media to get through. Uh, what we need now is some good music for the drive home. Something that goes a little bit like this. Yeah, that'll do. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 